Alrighty, so we're going to do another graphing of our log functions here because we love this stuff. So I've got my x, I've got my y. We don't necessarily have to use that work in the middle. It's a little more mental math, I feel. So log base 3 of x. Well, I know that if I put 1 for x, I can figure out what the output is. Log base 3 of 1. Well, 3 raised to what power gives me 1? That's going to be 0. It's pretty much always going to be like our first ordered pair, unless we start adding things on the outside of our function. So if you get like plus 2 or minus 5, this will change. But for now, that's what we're going with. All right, next one. Well, I'm going to pick my base for the next one. Reason being, if I have log base 3 of 3, 3 to what power gives me 3? Three? 3 to the first. All right. So there's my y coordinate. Next time, what's 3 squared? That's 9. So I know that log base 3 of 9, well, 3 to the second gives me 9, so my y is 2. There we go. So much like how we picked our numbers strategically for radicals, we can do the same for graphing logs. Woo! All right. So now I have my points, 1, 0. Then I've got 3, 1. And I've got... 9, 2. Awesome. Also recall, our asymptote will be here. Now, once we start adding transformations in and things like that, if you ever see graphs with like we're adding or subtracting on the outside, meaning we're moving it left or right, this asymptote here may also shift left or right, depending on, on what happens with the graph. But we'll get there when we get there. So for now, I know pretty close to what my graph is going to look like and it's going to look something like this awesome man that's a that's a sick looking graph right there and we can also always graph our inverse like it says here graph the inverse let's do that in red just to you know for fun switch our x and y so we're going to have 0 1 1 3 and then we'll have two nines, so that's going to be somewhere way up here. And then I've got my horizontal asymptote for an exponential function. And whoop. boom. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. And as you can see, it reflects over that nice diagonal line that I tried to make dash. But it really didn't work out too well to be dashed. But hopefully you you catch my drift there. I can throw some dashes in. Look at that. That's that's pretty sweet. All right. Any questions? <laughs> Come into class if you have questions.